Hello and welcome to the second episode in the Lego theme park renovation. It's only been six months since the last one, but I promise you there's a lot of updates to show you. So yeah, without further ado, let's get straight into it. And starting off over here by the haunted house, which will also have Pirate's Cove behind it over there. It's the kind of the first few pieces I'm going to show you of all the collection I've started getting from the Lego store. I've got some sand plates and some blue plates, uh, which will be like the sea, to kind of help with bringing the atmosphere over behind Pirate's Cove. As well as that, down here by the carousel, I've started to get a few of these kind of grey, larger plates. Uh, eventually, the entire theme park will be on this, but yeah, as you can see, I need a lot of them. I've also got a bunch of green plate, which is starting to fill in the area by the road. This road's going to take a little while, so we're going to pave all of this and also just get everything connected. In terms of the decision to have plate over the base plate, I've decided to go for this as when it comes to connecting here, this is very smooth, whereas here it's actually not the same height. So that means that all this is going to have to go, and it also means that I won't have to have the carousel sitting slightly higher. But yeah, just really need to get some loss of this plate. Anyway, so let's get into something interesting. I want to do a speed build of a brand new little ride that's going to be going in Pirate's Cove. Let's hop straight into that. So yeah, as you saw in that time lapse just there, this is the new ride that I've got for Pirates Cove. It's another one of those coin operated ones. There, was, there is a spaceship one that I have as well, and it just kind of does this. Quick review of it, I think it's really cool. Of course you've got like, the all the coins down there, that's nice. I don't like this flag, this is like a sail that kind of goes all over the place. Anyway, with that built, I'm going to show you the next big thing that I've got, which will also show you kind of how many parts I've got so far for this project. So hopefully you get that out. So if you've seen pretty much any other big YouTuber who does Lego, you know they all have like loads of drawers and organised where they store parts. Well, I finally got one of my own. <laughs> this wasn't too much, they got it on sales with about £40 and it can store so much Lego in there. So you can see here, in each drawer, I have so many parts for this park. Of course, the color scheme will be the main color scheme you'll also see on the channel. So it'll be the uh, the blue and the orange. That's why I've got some orange parts. There's also loads of blue parts that I have there. And also lots of leaves. Got some other kind of foliage elements. Got so many of these. Uh, where's the other half? There's some in there as well because it's like. These things are kind of, I don't know what you call them. Like where all the water goes into off the road. Got like other bits of foliage work. Up here I've got some gold pieces, some gems for pirates playing. More foliage, more foliage. Got lots of these tiles, which would be probably Pirates Cove. Got levers for operating booths. These is like benches that eventually made out of these. Tiling, I've got loads of these like transparent blue parts that were through for water. Lots of these again for foliage. More of this. Yeah. The main takeaway is that there are a lot of parts in it. And this is, I, I'll probably end up with a couple of these kind of storage things. It's not completely full. I think I've currently got, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five. So less than half of it is full of them. And this is like four large pick brick cups and one small pick brick cup. So there are so many parts in here. Anyway, to end off the video, I'm actually going to start using some of these. I'm going to do some decoration elements on these green sections that are currently going across the road. Yeah, that's how we'll finish it off. So 
I'm probably gonna need a lot of these, these, and maybe some of these. Let's get started. So I really hope you enjoyed that time lapse. As you can see here, this is some of the stuff that I created during that. I'm just having to push that in slightly. There we go. But yeah, so uh, these are now in. Of course, there are the gaps here because I need to um, just get some more of those of these tiles that will then go in there. But yeah, I'm really liking how this is looking. There's also this section over here down by the end of the road that's another group together and also right here this is kind of fitting in with these slopes that uh there's like the entrance of the car park which is not i'm not sure i could build a car park because it'd be too big by the rule the car park would be, have to be half the size of this to be an extra two tables in front so decided no car park for this build Yes, yeah, so that's pretty much it for the next episode. Hopefully in the next one I'll start to be covering more of this with some grey plate. And I'm going to try and order some of these so that we can then start doing more foliage on there. I think I might need a few more of uh, these flowers. I've used so many of them. But yeah, really happy with how that's all turned out. Of course, we also have that new ride. But yeah, so thank you very much for watching the second episode of this project. Compared to the last one where we had an entire new roller coaster, I agree. Not, not much really happened, but it's definitely a start and nice to have actually started doing some of this foliage work because I'm really happy with how this has turned out along the road. But yeah, next episode we'll continue on this road. So I want to say thank you very much for watching. Please leave a like, comment what you enjoyed about the video, and subscribe if you want to see more of this series. But that's it from me for today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.